guys, so now we are up at FFM and we are setting on the Corolla. We are getting stuck into the fabrication side of things. So you would have seen last time we had the diff in the car. You may have even seen, I think we had a little teaser with the engine sitting in the car. So now we're getting stuck into all the other stuff. The engine literally just been dropped in. So um, I'll give you a look at what's going on. Alrighty, K-Series update time. So, motor in, you guys have seen that. Uh, engine mounts, we're now working on the turbo manifold. Intake manifold has been done. Um, Dave at FFM has done an absolutely killer job. Uh, Dave and Jay. Um, intercooler is in. Tucks in there nicely. Didn't have to do too much trimming really. Um, all tucks in there, pretty sweet. Uh, and the same radiator the 4K was running still fits. Uh, we'll have to do a fan and stuff for that. Um, we've also been stuck around with getting converting it for hydraulic clutch. This originally was cable clutch, so we're moving it over to hydraulic. Um, I've done some work on the pedal box. Um, so, already sort of done, but anyway, I'll give you guys a look down on what happened. So essentially, we I just cut sort of everything off there um, and then put, and then made up my own mounting and arrangement. Um, this is just dummied up, obviously, with the, um, normally goes through the firewall, but this gives you the idea. Um, so I'm going to mix the factory mounting style. Um, also have a bracket here for, uh, and yeah, sort of rebent the pedal to suit. Um, and bracket here for a clutch position switch, which we never used to have. Um, so it's just a brake light switch out of a Ford Courier or something. It's just a little 10 by 1.25 threaded section. So <coughs> nice and easy to mount. Made a little bracket for that. Um, return spring and all the good stuff. So yeah, anyway, that'll... Uh, works really nice and smoothly and should be the ticket. So that's one thing out of the way. Um, still a million more to go, but yeah, it's, it's getting there. Today. Good. Um, a little dusty. A little dusty. Thanks, Paulie. This is uh, over there working on the sump, which is a doozy because lots of funny little things. But the K series installs in the car. We kept it with the factory lean, um, but then it just means that designing it is all it's lots of angles and it's you'll see it. It's complex, but. I think it's going to come out pretty good. We think it's going to be a volume of around, it's like 6.2 litres, but it'll have the oil pump taken out of that. So maybe 5.8 or something like that. I don't know, it's around there. High five, slow sixes. Um, but yeah. Should we go have a look at what the user's doing? Go have a look. Ooh, that's looking like it. Well, we got the measurement across in the angle plane. So I guess we, if it was, yeah. if we start there and put a point in space, is that how we do it? Put a yeah. point there and then we drop it vertically down. I don't know. Uh, create sketch on that face. Create. Point. Oh yeah, the to the back, there to the back. Right, so overall, that looks like it. I reckon that's it. Looks like we've got the finger flat now.
fits perfectly, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, some might consider it bulky, but I'd say it's carry on. <laughs> Perfect. Hmm. All right, we've got a month to go. How are you feeling? Like we've got a lot of work to do and not a lot of time to do it. It's like a glove. Ruined everything. Identify a safety glasses. I gave you safety glasses. I think it's good. No. I went and got the ones that you stole out of the out of from here last here. time. So sad. That looks bigger than a nine and a half. So You're not straight. Down. Is that? I came out of a nine and a half squat. Oh, we don't about that. We'll chase that. Oh, here we go. Put that. Put that shit away. Put that shit away. What are we doing? Ready? What is this? These are like the step ones. What the shit? $300. Put <laughs> that shit back. <laughs> no, down. Mm, yeah. Too far. Yeah, yeah, there. It was straight when you started going in. Didn't say straight for long. Because you already fucking put the ultra on it. See with all this crap. We need to get this fucking rubber off it. It's coming now. Yeah, because it's molten lava. Well, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. I'm like, let's pack it and then I'll be able to see how straight it is. No, it's actually fine. <laughs> Good to go. I think it's straight to that bit. You could, if you wanted to, we could bend it. It's we? fine. Put all these wires here. We put all these wires here. Progress coming along. Should look pretty cool. Fuck yeah. Okay, yeah. Bit fancy. I had to kick it because the turbo is bigger. Yeah, I'll give it a go. So, had to kick it and then um, I was just rolling that thing straight, literally straight to the piece you cut off. That's good point. So he's not ruining the photo? <laughs> like, ah. oh. Oh. I think it's his masterpiece. <laughs> that you're about to destroy. Nope. Don't wreck it. Uh, There's a um, uh, uh, Instagram video that it's like, hey, oh, oh. The guy's like, oh, point out, yeah, you're going to fall off, it's broken. Do it like this, and then five minutes later, the hole's off. It just goes, yeah, it's like that, and then hole is. Every time I touch a hole saw, it ends up broken. Especially if you're stainless steel. That is scary. 
and we can't ruin things with masterpiece. No. Yeah, I thought about that. I thought about it the last time. I don't have a trans cooler. Tensor. Oh. That just means my fan doesn't turn on. Oh, for the, like. And it's not in airflow. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> it's fine. It's and fine. There goes another trans. <laughs> definitely didn't record that. There's definitely no evidence of that. Turbo 400s don't need cooling, right? Well, I was thinking about like, fuck, lucky we've literally only ever done like a pass and had to wait because you know, you oil down the fucking lanes for an hour and a half. Mm. <laughs> Jigsaw puzzle, but way better. Quite shiny. And better. Uh, it's right up to stylus. Is that much? Two inches. That much. Yeah, 50. 50 cent. Nah, you can get a little bit. Just like a bolt on, only better. That's better. No holes. Alright, 
So month out from road trip, how are we looking? I reckon we're looking pretty good. Um, so had a big weekend up at FFM uh, again, and we've got a whole lot more stuff in the engine bay. Um, turbo on, wastegate down under here. Uh, big thanks to Pulsar uh, Turbos Australia for both of those. Um, 6766 again, and one of their new uh, generation 50 mil gates down there. Um, yeah, it looks like a really nice piece. Can't wait to see how this one goes. We've given it, uh, we, we, the, pro, the design of the manifold, you may see it, it's um, what a lot of people refer to as like a pro mod style, but more that just means that the collector is back here, and then we just use a single bend up onto the turbo. My preference for that is just, um, it just gives us like the ability to have really good wastegate priority. So um, anyway, we want to be able to have good boost control on this because it is going to be a manual car. So we'll see how that goes. We'll, uh, you guys will find out how it's all going, but turbo, manifold done. Um, dump pipe, I literally just uh, finished tigging. I think he's got it all tacked up and then he uh, disappeared and left it in my hands and I don't know, look, I ain't no special fabricator, but I don't know, I think it'll stay on there, so happy days. <coughs> um, but yeah, um, I think we had a pretty good weekend. What do you reckon? Yeah, we've got, definitely got a fair bit done. I think, oh, in a cool, I don't think we've actually touched on that, but I mean, so intercooler core yeah it's a mishimoto core 800 horsepower rated uh tanks obviously designed and folded up by uh, dave here at ffm and then he's done it all we haven't pushed the actual um pipes through you'll see they're still just open at the moment they're yet to be done we wanted to get this side sort of done and then we were going to decide how we're going to do this so just be short little pipe there and a short little pipe here up to the bosch motorsport drive by wire throttle um Plan them. I think we've touched on it a few times, but yeah, Dave's just done, Dave and Jay, they did an absolutely amazing job. But in fact, it's kind of a bit of a surprise present um, over Easter that we came back to. It just looks incredible, so. Yeah, and we've got the sump made oh, up over yeah. there. We can go have a look at it, that one. I can bring that over. Kai's also been working on the pedal box as well. So we've got that sort of all Dark. Yeah, so pedal box is mounted up in there. Uh, we got the new clutch pedal. It's now on the opposite side of the steering column. It used to be on there, uh, that other th on that right hand side. Now it's on the left hand side. We rebent the pedal to suit. Uh, looks like it's going to work. Danielle's run it through a few cycles. Seems to be not too bad. Yeah. Um, and some. Yeah. One by some. Um, so yes, uh, the boys at FFM, um, again Dave, <laughs> drew this flange in CAD and then cut it out with CNC router uh, and then Jay and, and Dave have uh, tacked it and welded it together. The back's still open at the moment, um, just because what we're planning on doing is we want to just try and fit it on the engine. Even though we've done all the measurements and you know we've pretty certain that everything's really good it's always good to just have this last panel is just it just needs to be added on anyway so we're leaving it off until we fully put it on we can sit it on the motor and we can see exactly how much clearance and everything we've got um, if we think we need to add any more baffles or anything we can but at the moment I'm just running one sort of ledge baffle the pickup sits down in here uh, and the idea between this baffle is uh, for this baffle is just that under hard forward acceleration, it's going to help catch the oil and just hold it there and stop it all running down here. Um, and then I honestly don't think it's going to be too bad. The oil pump body itself sort of sits in here. It's quite large. Um, so I don't know if it's going to need anything more than that. Um, I think that that may be all it needs, but we will see. Anyway, I think that's going to cap it off for where we're at. Yeah. Um, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of good stuff. And if you do need any uh, fabrication stuff, David FFM, he's a bit of a legend, does all kinds of stuff, not only crazy stuff like this, but stuff for your Forbies and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, give him a shout out. What an absolute legend. Cheers, guys. Getting cracking into getting, yeah, getting cracking into it. Um. Ah.
<laughs> That's true dedication. <laughs> Why'd you cut that section out? I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. No, we'll be able to tack it. Um, I'll just weld it back in on the bench. We cut, we cut the metal out, then we weld the metal back in. Oh, this way. Machine fit. Perfect. So glad you cut it out. So glad.